Michael Andre has um, questioned whether Total Wolf is becoming too powerful for for for, for Formula One. I think Andre, Andre Andretti is just as powerful because he can he can throw his weight around as well, given how big he is in motorsport. And um, just because Total Wolf has um, got a few concerns about him entering about Andretti entering Formula One does not mean he's becoming he's becoming too powerful. I mean some some of the things he raises are are valid in my opinion. I mean with the with an eleventh entry the um the prize money gets diluted, you know, because obviously they're the eleventh um team. Um and I think that needs to be taken into consideration. So I think that's a valid point. The other the other thing, the other point one has to consider is is it worth having an eleventh team um if they can't guarantee that they can can be competitive. Now I mean at the minute we've got te- ten teams and in my opinion I mean it would be better having less teams but having teams having the teams that we do have and being able to to uh, fight for podiums and for positions and um, even wins and maybe even championships so so maybe um it we should actually have less teams but maybe have three cars for example um because i don't think there it's it's the a right solution just to put uh, allow a sep- an eleventh team that is just um, potentially driving around at the back of the field. Um, you know, n- n- nobody wants to nobody wants to see that. Um, and I think is it is it worth um Audi or Porsche coming in? Instead of Andretti, um, I'm not sure. I mean, the, the the thing is, Andretti has got massive pedigree in motorsport, and um, no questions asked about that. And we, I would, I would welcome an eleventh team. But um, do does Andretti have the resources, you know, to to um, fight at the front, you know, and um, if if Porsche and uh, Audi would come in, for example, they would come in it for, as works out as work works out. So um, I think um, you know one has to consider that. And I personally think that um, the the days of privateers privateers teams are gone in Formula One, unfortunately. And um, I think the days of the Jordans. The um the pros etc. They are well and truly gone uh, because of the cost and uh, the the resources that are required to be um competitive and and um you know to be competitive in Formula One and um, able to fight at the front because nobody wants to see a new entry entry team and. Um, Fighting at the back of the grid, and um, so I'm not sure. I mean, if if Andretti can prove to uh, Formula One and um, and the, the everyone involved that uh, they can be competitive because they have got the right resources and uh, they have got the investment, and they they're not just gonna stay in Formula One for for like um, two years just to say oh. oh just to say that we, oh yeah, we've been in Formula One, but uh, you know they're not competitive, or or they haven't even got the chance, nor the nor the ambition to be competitive. Then uh, that's that that's that's a uh, that's not good for Formula One. I think if any other team comes in and um, they've got proof, a that they've got the resources, b that they've got finances. And see that they are in it for the long haul. Um, 
and that they, they are um, truly um, in it in to make the sport uh, better um, and not just uh, decide to to quit Formula One um, after two years, you know. Um, and I personally think that um, a, a manufacturer should, once they've committed to Formula One, should be um, committed to Formula One for the long haul and um, not just uh, do what um, Honda, for example, what Honda does. Um, I mean, I can't even I can't even count how often Honda has been in and out of Formula One. I think that's not good either. So um, I think one has to find a find a um, compromise that works for everybody. But do I think um, Total Warp is is becoming too powerful for Formula One? Now I don't think he's becoming too powerful. I just think he raises some valid questions that uh, Formula One needs to be on needs to answer uh, before they allow an 11th ent- entry to join the grid um, because at the end of the day um, Total Wolf has led Mercedes to eight constructors world world ti- titles and I don't think um, you c- you can at one should discount or not listen to the concerns of somebody who's done that. Uh, neither do I think. Um, neither neither do I think. Um, they should um, ignore what um, Andre Andretti has to say has to say in his defense, or you know, or not defense is the wrong word, but um, you know, Formula One needs to listen to um, what Andretti has to offer and uh, then make an informed decision by coming up with a with a um, compromise um yeah that's just what i'm thinking let me know what you guys think in the comments below cheers for watching if you do like my content then feel free to um click the subscribe button and if you want to become a channel member then click the Feel free to click the join button for a small fee. I add the your name to the um, my end credits, or if that if that isn't your thing, why not? Uh, just give me a super thanks super thanks by clicking the on the super thanks button. Cheers, guys. Bye. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm